what's up, Gorilla Bonies? This is motherfucking Gorilla Bone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Gorilla Bone's Guide to Success, episode number fucking two. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is how does Gorilla Bone get the edges on other players? Or get the edge on other players? Well, I'm going to start off with some simple tactics. Uh, first, when I die, I look at the map before I spawn to get a general idea where all of my enemies are at in the map. Uh, when they shoot, when you do something, you light up on the map like a fucking carrot Christmas tree. So, by me seeing where everyone is at when I die before I spawn, I am able to try to figure out which area would be the best point of uh, action, as in attacking. So, once I do that, I then uh, create a plan on how I'm going to do it. And, uh, you know, if I'm going to flank, which nine times out of ten I'm going to, uh, so the other team is able to get through. But, when I'm flanking, I, I do a thing called, like, situational awareness. So, basically, when I'm running up behind people on a flank, uh, I, I look for the person that is the most jumpy. Uh, the one that's looking around, the one that's always paying attention, he just won't stop moving. That's the first motherfucker I'm dropping. Because he's, he's, he's high risk. So, uh, that's the first person I'm dropping. Then the next one is the second jumpiest. Uh, he's going down, and then so forth, so on. Uh, that, that's one way I play the game. Is situational awareness. I target people who I think will most likely fuck my shit up before I can fuck up everyone else's. Um, another thing I do is when I'm running around, I use my teammate as kind of, of uh, like a buoy sensor. So if you don't know what a buoy sensor is, go look it up because you'll get confused as fuck if I try to explain it. Um, but basically, I use my teammates as kind of like a early warning system. So let's say I got teammates to the left of me. Uh, you can see their blueberry icon in uh, through the walls and whatnot. So basically, if they die and I'm seeing my teammates die up in the uh, the death uh, scroll box thing in the jigger up in the top right hand corner, if I see a bunch of them die and then I see a bunch of people, you know, disappearing in front of me, well, I know there's enemies over there. So, we're in that general area. So, basically, I will go in that area and I will figure out what the fuck's going on. So, that's that's another thing I do. I use my teammates as an early warning system. Another thing I actually really enjoy doing is I love fucking baiting people. That's probably one of the most funnest things to do in a video game is baiting people and knowing you got over on them. Yeah, it's mean. Yeah, it's probably where they call it egotistic shit or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it is. But I fucking love it. I don't give a fuck. I love baiting people. But uh, let's say someone's shooting at me but they miss. Alright, so I know which direction they're coming from, either A, because they shot and I heard them, and I can tell where you are just by sound, uh, where the bullets hit the wall to the side of me, so I know you're off to the left, or they hit the ground, so I know you're behind me or in front of me, uh, or the bullets hit the wall in front of me, that sort of thing, so I already know where you are, so I go around the corner, and fucking, of course, the person's gonna begin chasing me. So then I double back and fucking drop them. Or let's say uh, we're in like a stalemate and fucking this guy, we just keep running in circles, running in circles. Well, I act like it's kind of like breaking the ankles in a, a basketball game or a football game. You go one way, but you go the other and then you drop them. That sort of thing. I guess the, I should have just started off with that. That would have been the easiest way to explain it. Um, another thing 
is uh, using smoke. Uh, this is I used to fucking hate when people threw smoke because I couldn't see a goddamn thing. But over time, I started, you know, realizing the benefits of using smoke. So, the key is, you need to learn how to manipulate the smoke in your favor. Because the game devs literally took smoke rises seriously. And it does in the game. So, basically, if you're playing on a 120 field of view, like I do, you can angle your character a certain way and you will be able to see little blips running running through the smoke or if you go prone you can see little blips running down even more clear than what you can angling uh, that's because the smoke rises and then it dissipates but when you're on prone you can see all their feet running through uh, Another thing is sound. I cannot stress how much how important sound is in Battlefield 4. That's how I target just about every single person is sound. I hear them before they even know I'm there. And that's how a lot of times I can jump around a corner and drop you before and you're all like, oh, what the fuck just happened? So uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.